here's the silicone hand tutorial uh, we uh, are putting on some of the oil base uh, makeup bruise effect um, now uh, usually it doesn't really work very well uh, on silicone so uh, I don't usually use the uh, grease makeup on that um, but I'm just kinda showing you how it looks if you do want to use it on there it's it's good enough to uh, use on there for like a kinda maybe like a shoot or a, um, a like just a basic effect like if you're going out and you want to have just a little bit of uh, bruising on there it, it gives a nice effect it does rub off real easily so um, you can't really blend as well um, right th uh, I'm just kind of stippling it around here uh, kind of give it a nice effect uh, it's just extra silicone I had from when I did the face wound um, so I just decided to uh, kind of put it on my hand and give it a little little look and see what it looks like when you do this right here what I'm doing is um, I'm uh, putting in uh, just a uh, black uh, grease makeup to kind of give it a little bit of depth uh, when you do that it kind of lets it look like it's um, a little bit deeper uh, once you put the blood on there and have the blood effect uh, now I'm putting in uh, some hogs blood uh, from uh, Fleet Street. Uh, I get that from Biddy Multiply as well. As uh, That's where I get my silicone. Um, I'm finally getting over my cold. My voice is kind of going in and out here. But uh, it's coming back sh slowly. Uh, and um, right there I'm taking some cotton. Uh, what I'm doing is um, you can f take uh, bits of cotton and you can put that uh, in your wound or cut whatever you have and what it does is it gives it a nice textured look so it looks kind of almost like a like a muscle or or a um, tendon um, depending upon how you lay it uh, and you can put it into different things and it kind of gives it a nice look to it I just have some basic store blood there um, and I'm just kind of stretching that out and then I just uh, Put that into the uh, into the wound there, and then you kind of just put it in different places, um, just depending upon how you want to have it. It kind of gives it a nice look. My hands in the way currently. Um, there we go, uh, and then just spreading it around. Uh, then uh, then uh, you can uh, add more or less depending upon the effect that you want to get. Just add a little bit more blood on top of that. Now the only negative thing about about that hog's blood there is it does it does like dry up after a bit, so it does kind of get scabby. So depending upon where you put it is. Depend on what you do. This here is uh, some uh, blood that I made. Um, actually I actually have a video for that that I'll be posting later. Uh, it actually turned out really good. I left it up for a while, so it kind of is a little bit thicker. It's a uh, uh, corn syrup, uh, and there um, the cotton kind of got stuck to the rag, so it kind of got a little messed up overall. But uh, so I uh, kind of go back and fix it and uh, get a better look to it. Here's the overall effect. Uh, I went back in and filled it in a little bit more. I didn't really feather the edges that much with the silicone because I was doing it real fast and it was extra. So that's pretty much what it's going to look like.